Hey everyone, it's Cole G here, and today I'm starting a brand new series for the channel. I don't have an official name for it yet, but tentatively I'm calling it Songwriting Friday. Basically every Friday, I'll be writing a song from start to finish and documenting the process. Each episode will be a little bit different. I may write from a prompt, I may write using one piece of gear, it'll be that kind of stuff. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to see more of these videos, and if you have any suggestions for a better name, please comment them down below, I'd love to hear them. But anyways, for today's inaugural episode, I'm writing a song kind of based off a of broken social scene and the national. It's kind of strange, but let's get into it. Alright, so as I mentioned before, the inspiration for today's episode is Broken Social Scene and The National. Now, I don't listen to much of The National. I absolutely love Broken Social Scene, though. Kevin Drew is one of my favorite producers of all time. I think everything he does is great, and I love the sounds that he gets on his records. But I don't really like The National that much. But the riff that I wrote that I'm about to show you gives off National vibes. Let's check it out. <laughs> So it's kind of a mix of Blood Buzz, Ohio, and some <laughs> broken social scene song. So that was a really, really, really rough demo. I quickly, I can't even call that a demo actually. I just quickly threw that together as an inspiration. So what I'm going to do actually now is start re-recording stuff. So one thing with broken social scene and the national, but more in particular broken social scene is they layer the crap out of all their instruments. There's a million guitars going on at once. They usually have like 20 members on stage. <laughs> when I saw them, I think they had like 10, but they have such a big sound and they use horns and they use everything. And the National to an extent has a pretty big sound as well. So I'm gonna try to capture that. So there's gonna be lots of guitar layering, all that kind of stuff. Okay, for this part here, I'm recording a very simple guitar part. Basically, G, well G, it's not actually G because it's in baritone, to E minor. As I'm playing this more, I'm realizing this kind of fits more so into War on Drugs territory, maybe a bit more than The National, but honestly I think The National is still a good description just based on the sad guitar sounds. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But basically my goal is to kind of build this up like a broken social scene song. When the chorus finally hits, it's huge and hits you in the face a million ways. That's the vibe I'm going for. Let me change it a bit, but that's kind of cool. I'll definitely change the tone though. The tone I am not vibing with right now, but honestly, I don't care that much. I'll fix it a little bit later. So I want this next part to be a bit bigger. Cool. So I'm gonna record that in a separate track. cathartic per se, but I want it to feel like a release. Now it's time to add the second guitar in. I'm going to just try wing this one, see if I come up with any good ideas.
cool ideas in there. I'm gonna try and redo what I did here for the post course section. I'm not sure what I'm calling this, but I liked what I did, but I wanna use the middle position. So I'm gonna do what I did before here and just kind of wing this part and see what I could come up with. I don't know if I'll be able to top that. I really like the energy behind it. I'm gonna try to top it, but if I can't beat it, I like the feeling of it. You know what? I do hear this again. So there's some parts in here that I feel like if I did a few more takes, I could really perfect it. But I'm trying to move a little bit away from being a perfectionist. I want to try and embrace having a feeling or like just getting the actual energy out there. Because the energy in that first take to me is better than all of them. And the note sounded really good too. So for now at least, I'm going to stick with that first take. I may change it later. I'll let you know or you'll see a new part come in when I show you the final song at the end. But I like that energy and I'm trying, I want, I want it to be more energetic. I want it to be a feeling the song captures. This take here is the first one I recorded, but to me, it just has a vibe to it that the other ones don't have. So now let's try and write a course. I'm just gonna try and mess around a little bit and we'll see what happens. I don't know if I want to go with the same chords. foundation here. Okay, so I have a really weird idea. So it's time to record some keyboards now. I am not sure what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do something hopefully cool. <laughs> okay, so I got an arpeggiator going for the synth. Now I'm going to add a couple more keyboards in, but more so doing just like chordal stuff instead.
kind of like that. All right, so I got those keyboards done. I only have one other idea for keyboards, and that's Mellotron. I like that sound. All right, it's time to record some bass. Okay, so I have a really good foundation here. I got pretty much all the tracks that I plan on actually using for this song. So now what I'm gonna do is actually show you the song. There'll be some new guitar parts on here which you'll be able to hear and tell the difference with. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And once again, let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas for names for this series or topics or bands you want me to try and imitate, if you will. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Songwriting Friday. And I'm Cole G, and I'll see you in the next one.